Hello everyone, what's good? My name is Pika. I am a professional Tekken 7 player, coach, commentator, or shoutcaster, whichever you want to call it, and analyst here in the Philippines. I also stream every once in a while. So, <laughs> so this is one series or rather one type of content that a lot of my friends, uh, supporters and followers have actually requested from me which is more educational content. So I'm going to start off with what I call the staple series. So in this series we're going to discuss, uh, in my opinion, the most ideal, practical and again based on my own experience, combos for each character in the game. I'm going to start off, of course, with Armor King, which is my main, and we're going to get to that in a bit. I just want a few disclaimers to, you know, to be brought forward, one of which is the fact that I will do all my episodes in one take. So I expect some flaws, maybe some errors every now and then. And it is, all, it is also to show that these combos, as much as they are staples, they might need some practice, at least some of them. Specifically for those players who are just starting to learn some characters and are new to the game. Last but not least, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, these are based on my experiences and opinions. So if you guys have any other inputs, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section and let's get right to it. So in this series, specifically for Armor King, I want to talk about the two launchers or the primary launchers that Armor King has in the game, which is of course number one, the Dark Upper, and of course his Hop Kick. The same thing goes for his Wall Standing one. So more times than not, what you can do with a hop kick, you can also do off of a wall standing one. Now let's start off with a dark upper. Contrary to popular belief, my top one staple for dark upper is not the dark lariat follow up. No, it really isn't. And again, it's not to grease up on people or to hate on people who prefer that combo over anything else. It is just that since Armor King's engineering as a linear character actually presents a lot of flaws specifically in certain angles I prefer not to make this my staple right so say for example you launch somebody up close right there a little bit off axis there's a huge chance that you're gonna go right through sometimes not even on you know most specifically on Armor King's right side sometimes even on the left now if you're lucky the entire combo will connect but if you're really unlucky, which I hope you guys are not, <laughs> you will most likely miss your entire combo. And again, it's very axis dependent, right? So in some areas, in some cases, it'll be easier or the timing will be much more uh, finicky or tricky. This is one of the reasons why I don't prefer doing the Dark Upper. Or uh, rather, the Dark Lariat after the Dark Upper. My apologies. Now, what I do, however, off of a Dark Upper is what some people have already labeled. Oh, that was my fault. Have already labeled like the Pika staple here in the Philippines with Armor King, which is this one. So this is 76 damage. And I prefer this. I prefer the forward 3 follow-up over anything else simply because it offers a lot of versatility. If I launch somebody even at the slightest bit of off axis, I would actually see it. And I could convert off of that one, right? So any combo that I want any combo conversion that I prefer I can adjust from there while thinking less about you know errors or basically committing mistakes and that's just me that's just my opinion now the second combo combo path or basically combo staple combo suggestion that I would go for off of a dark upper is the one plus two two series we've seen this happen a lot of times to people so me personally I prefer this and believe it or not I'm actually gonna bring this combo as well later on when we talk about the hop kick or the while standing one 73 damage is no joke now one reason why I like the one plus two two series is again wall travel if you prefer to take the opponent nearer to the wall with that combo you know it's it's a very versatile way of doing it that's just my take Okay, so one other one other path that I go with the one plus two two is of course the wall standing four, this one. Now the, it's a little tricky, specifically because you have to wait for you do have to wait for the uh, the recovery of one plus two two before you execute the wall standing four. There's that, and it still does the same exact damage. Now another path that I go for when I launch off of uh, dark upper is another dark upper, but not all the time. You see, that is also one problem when it comes to Armor King. Uh, the the inconsistencies of the Dark Upper can be, you know, very finicky. So, say for example, you launch them off of the right. There's a huge chance that the third Dark Upper will not connect. You can even go for three Dark Uppers if you're really feeling yourself that day or in that game. But I would not really suggest it. You know, I would just go for the the, the down forward one filler. Not only does it add three more damage to the combo, it gives you time to prepare for the third. 
Now the last, uh, the fourth rather, the the fourth combo path that I go for when I launch with the Dark Upper is just a four, a very simple four. You see the four of Armor King, it actually does uh, the same damage, I believe, uh, as a Dark Upper. So that's 14 damage, if not a little less. See, exactly the same damage. Uh, the only difference is, again, from a 4, you can do the second staple of Armor King, which is a 4 to a Dark Lariat. Which also deals a lot of damage. This, I believe, is 77. That's still pretty strong. Right? And you can actually see when that connects. Right? So, here we go. Last but not least, I don't have to say it. The Dark Lariat follow-up. My least favorite of all. <laughs> but again, damage is damage, so there's no questioning that. Now, off of a hop kick, pretty much the same. Specifically, the 1 plus 2 2 series, you know, I, I prefer doing that. But let's add a few things. So, another path that people go for when they when they uh, go for a hop kick is the down forward 3 series. So as you can see, that was a 66 damage combo, which is 2 points up off of the usual down forward 3, down forward 1, down forward 3, but with, again, a little bit more effort. So here we go. Look at this. There's that. 64 damage. Now what you can do if you cannot do a dark upper or you don't want to, you want a little bit of allowance, you can go for while standing 4, which is that. So another path is... A four again, the four path. However, it's a lot limited when you go for a hop kick and then a four and then a dark upper, simply because the opponent is launched slightly lower than that of a dark upper. So if you ask me, when you go for a four, the best option to go for is a while standing four, but of course a little bit trickier than the supposed uh, timing that you would off of a dark upper. Then the most boring one of all, in my opinion, is the down forward one series. Which lands at 62. Yes, very, very, very consistent to be honest. But again, you're compromising just a few points of damage which could actually have saved your life. So there's that. Now if you want to spice that up a little bit, you can add another down forward 1 after 1 plus 2, 2. And then do the dash in screw down back to 4. My personal favorite, of course, because not only does it have style points, but it also adds reasonable amount of damage. Last but not least, my favorite, <laughs> a hop kick to a dark lariat. I absolutely despise that combo despite the fact that it is 73 damage, a throbbing 73 damage off of a hop kick. So those are my staples guys, uh, 5 for dark upper and 5 for the hop kick. So just do a quick recap, I'm not going to finish the combo anymore, save you a little bit of time, but just so you know. So off of a dark upper, my personal follow up favorite is in a 4 or 3. That's number one. Number two would be the one plus two, two follow-ups. There's that. Number three is another dark upper, which again, not my favorite, but still useful. Fourth is a four. Again, there it is. And more versatility, big damage. Last but not least, uh, dark Lariat. <laughs> so off of a hop kick, my top one is still one, is, is now one plus two, two rather. Here we go. Next would be the down forward three series, so on and so forth. Third would be the four, really not so viable all the time. Um, my fourth would be the down forward one series boring, but consistent sure and last but not least again My least favorite which is the dark lariat <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed and you know, you learned a little bit from my uh, Armor King staple basically my, my staple series episode one I hope that it gave you guys a little insight Especially if you're just starting off with Armor King if you uh, want to get more creative If you want to include more damage into your combo repertoire, then I hope that works But for now that is it for me coach Pika out. See you not to the next one guys. Stay tuned <laughs>